when we hear the word luxury, we all think of the same things. Tropical beaches, diamond rings, queens and kings rocking that monarchy bling. And we would buy caviar for breakfast. Mansions, yachts, Lamborghinis and never question what they cost us because we want gold. We want platinum. We want feminine hygiene products. Yeah. And that's why these things should be classed and taxed as a luxury. I mean, we all want the good life. And every now and then we get the opportunity to treat ourselves, right? I mean, just the other night my friend and I decided we would cast aside the budget ciders and the frozen french fries and give ourselves an evening of luxury. Ordered us a taxi, went to one of them fancy restaurants, walked in, snapped our fingers and said, Garçon, take us to the bar, for we are very important and we've travelled ever so far. I shan't be paying with cash, for I only carry cards. I asked the waiter to bring me some fresh bread and a Sauvignon Blanc, while well, she ordered a pint of tenants and a bowl full of tampons. Women and their luxuries, right? <laughs> I then ordered a spaghetti bolognese while she just sat there having her piri piri chicken. I said, listen, don't you think it's fitting that sanitation products are a luxury only for women? I mean, if you were willing to quit bitching and pay a little bit more for those things, then we could all pay less for real necessities. Stuff like Jaffa cakes and crocodile meat. Yeah. Those are two things that are legitimately tax-free in the UK today. I mean, if it was the other way around and men were the ones that had their... Their, um, sorry. I know some people feel uncomfortable with that term, so I won't say the actual word. But between you and me, I find it kind of absurd that this is a topic we feel the need to soften. I mean, I don't know if you've heard, but it happens quite often. Once a month, in fact. But allow me to get back on track. I think I was about to attack the blatant fact that if men were the ones that had the special time of the month, this wouldn't be a discussion. We would all agree that those products were necessary in order to properly function in the modern world unless, of course, you're a girl. I mean, this is right up there in stupidity with the fact that gay people still can't give blood. Did you know that, by the way? Gay people still can't give blood. This is 2015! But that's another poem for another theme. The point is this. Feminine hygiene products shouldn't just be tax-free. They should be available free for anyone in need. Whether struggling with money or living on the street, this would be laughable if it wasn't also quite serious. Calling tampons a luxury is a joke. Period.